These are pretty slick. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dave with Chistasummit.com and today we're gonna to be talking about another pair of true wireless earbuds, the Jaybird Vista. Now the company Jaybird has been around for a while and they've always kind of marketed themselves as making really robust, uh, earth-proof products. And the Jaybird Vistas are definitely earth-proof. We'll get into that in a little bit. Before we get into it, make sure you subscribe down below and give me a thumbs up if you thought this was a helpful video. And if you're interested in picking up one of these sweet hats, check out the link in the description. So this review is gonna be mainly from the perspective of a runner. I run like three to five times a week and I like to wear headphones when I run. Honestly, it's been quite a journey trying to find like the perfect headphone for running. So let's find out if the Jaybird Vistas are worth the $179 asking price. Okay, so the market for true wireless earbuds has really exploded. Ever since smartphones have started ditching their headphone jacks, it seems like every company under the sun has started making true wireless earbuds. I mean, I've personally got like 10 pairs to review. So you've really got to differentiate yourself if you want to make yourself known in the true wireless earbud marketplace. Now the Vistas do approach it a little differently. All of the marketing around the Jaybird Vistas is about endurance athletes, climbers, runners, all kinds of hardcore people. And that's really what they're aiming this demographic towards. I mean, just look at the back of the box here. You've got this uh, ultra runner here. And I think their marketing technique works because that's really what piqued my interest about the Jaybird Vistas. So I've been wearing the Jaybird Vistas for about two weeks now. I've been wearing them every day to work. I've been wearing them out on runs, on the treadmill, to the gym, just trying to test them out in every aspect of life. So I think I've got enough use with them to really share an honest opinion with you. Full disclosure, Jaybird did send the Jaybird Vistas out for review, but as always, this is my full, honest, unbiased opinion. This is not a sponsored video in any way. First off, let's talk about the design of these headphones. The Jaybird Vistas take a minimalistic approach to their design. It's a matte black plastic all around, and they're pretty small and low profile. When you have them in your ear, they do stick out a little bit, but they're pretty low profile, and they fit my ears really well. They're not screaming out for attention, and I like that. Around the back of the headphones, you'll find a single push button. This is not a touch-enabled headphone like uh, AirPods or any of the competitors. This is actually just a push button. I prefer this technique because it means if you're sweating or you're running in the rain, you don't have an issue with like false taps or anything like that. I also find with those other ear pods, if you take them out and put them in your pocket, they're like playing and pausing your music. They might even be making phone calls while you're running and you can't really turn them off, which is kind of annoying. So I do like the push button technique a lot better. It's a much better design, in my opinion, for like fitness oriented earbuds. What's interesting about the Jaybird Vistas is the ear tip is actually part of the rubber of the body here. From here to all the way back here is actually all the same piece of rubber. And I think they did that for water resistance so nothing can get in the seals there. But it's also a design benefit because I've had tips on other earbuds like fall off in my ear canal and seriously, I've Still get like PTSD from trying to fish earbud tips out from my ear canal. It's terrifying. <laughs> And then on the front of the earbud, you've got the hook that goes inside your ear, and then you've got the charge contacts over here. So just like every other true wireless earbud on the market, these include a charging case. The charging case is just all black. It's really small. It's surprisingly small, actually, compared to my other earbuds. There's a magnetic connection when you drop the earbud in so they can't fall out. They're actually really well in there, a lot better than most of the competition. And what I like about this design is there's no finicky way to put these in. Like you can't accidentally put the right one in the left one or vice versa. Some of my other earbuds, I find I accidentally put the right one on the left and the left one on the right and they don't charge properly. So it's nice that they really made it clear which way these go in the case. And inside the case here is a single LED that indicates your charge level. The case has a USB type C connection on the front here and in the box is a cable to charge it. The downside here is there is no wireless charging like some of the competition. I really like wireless charging because I use a Galaxy S10 smartphone and that actually has a reverse power share. Minor complaint though, I can just plug them in and they charge pretty quick. So the single button on the left and right hand side of the Jaybird Vistas are pre-configured. Out of the box, a single tap will play or pause music. It'll also accept a phone call if you have one coming in. A double tap will skip to the next track or it will reject a phone call that's coming in. 
and holding the button on the right or left earbud will increase or decrease the volume of your music. Now, all of these actions can actually be customized from within the Jaybird app. Now, setting up the Jaybird Vistas with your smartphone is super easy. All you've got to do is download the Jaybird application from the iOS or Android store, and it'll walk you through the entire process. During this process, it'll probably ask you to upgrade your earbuds firmware. And it's interesting, they have released a couple of firmware updates since I've had these earbuds. I'm not actually sure what the firmware updates do, but they're happening, so that's good. So from within the application, you can also customize your equalizer. This is actually pretty cool. It walks you through this little setup wizard where it plays a series of tones and you kind of adjust the slider to where you can actually hear the tones. And then by the end of it, it creates a custom profile just for you. This actually worked really well for me. The custom profile it made sounded fantastic. You can also download other profiles from like famous athletes like ultra runner Timothy Olsen if you want to listen to music like he does. I find this to be a little bit gimmicky. I'm not sure why I'd want to listen to my music like other people like everyone's ears are different, but if you really idolize somebody, you can copy their hearing experience exactly what the Jaybird Vista is. From within the phone app, you can also customize how your buttons work on your earbuds. And they've actually got an area where you can listen to music or podcasts that are available through the Jaybird network. This is kind of interesting, but I haven't really used it. I just put on my Google Music and use that instead. So the Jaybird Vistas offer 16 hours of battery life, which is commendable given the small form factor of the case. That means you've got six hours of listening on the earbuds themselves and then an additional 10 hours of charge inside the case. Now, one nice feature about the Jaybird Vistas is they do offer a quick charge. So five minutes of charging will give you one hour of listening. That's pretty good. Now, these earbuds do offer Bluetooth 5.0, which is important because you can use these earbuds individually without having them both connected. The benefit there is you can use one earbud for six hours put it back in the case to charge, and then take the other earbud out and put it, put it in for another six hours. And there's another benefit to only using one earbud, and that is because these earbuds don't offer any form of transparency mode. Transparency mode basically means you can hear the outside world through the microphone of the earbuds. A lot of the competition is doing it like Apple. On the flip side, you can just wear one of the earbuds and you'll be able to hear everything anyways, so it's not that big of a deal. But I do like that hear through feature, and I'm hoping they include it in the next version of the Vistas. So let's talk about durability for a second here. The earbuds themselves are rated for an IPX7 waterproofing, which is really high. That basically means they can be submerged in three feet of water for up to 30 minutes. I don't suggest you do that, but it means they're very durable. So sweating, rain, snow, probably even taking a shower with them is okay. That means they're very sealed to dust and water resistance. I appreciate that. A lot of the competition doesn't go to IPX7. The most I've seen is actually like IP68, and that's not even close to what these can do. So that's the real standout feature of the Jaybird Vistas is their waterproofing and durability. The case itself is actually like a polycarbonate plastic. It's a really hard plastic and it feels quite thick. I'm pretty sure you could step on these by accident and they won't break. I don't think I'm gonna test that, but take my word for it, they're very durable. Now, one thing that doesn't feel quite as durable is the case itself. I'm a little disappointed in that. Uh, I did talk to the Jaybird uh, marketing rep, and he told me that this is not a water resistant case, which is unfortunate because I like to throw the case in my running vest and just pull it out and put the earbuds in. Without having that water resistance, it means I have to leave the case in my car and only take the earbuds with me, which is kind of fiddly. So if you wanna take the earbuds out, you got nowhere to put them, you can't charge them on the go. You can get around this by just throwing this in a Ziploc bag, but again, it would be nice if it was just built into the case. The case simply just doesn't feel quite as durable as the headphones either. Like, let's see if I, can you hear that? Can you hear that? It's got little squeaks and creaks that I don't like to hear in an expensive pair of earbuds. I mean, don't get me wrong, it hasn't broken on me yet. It's still totally fine, it works. I've used these every day, so minor complaint there. All right, so let's get to the important part, sound quality. You're not gonna pay 180 bucks for a pair of earbuds that don't sound good, no matter how waterproof they are, right? So I've been pleasantly surprised with how good these sound. They are very good sounding earbuds. They're not quite as bassy as some of the competition, like the Jabra Elite 75 Ts or the AirPods Pro, but they've got a great tonal curve. Very warm, uh, very pleasing to the ear. Something interesting, it doesn't really have like a wide sound stage. Like, it doesn't feel like you're in a big orchestra hall with music around you. It's very tight, but it's a good sounding tight. Does that make sense? All kinds of music sound great on these, you know, rock, hip hop, whatever. Uh, podcasts actually sound really good on these too. Now the volume on the Jaybird Vistas doesn't get exceedingly loud. Like you can't go deaf wearing these, but it gets loud enough for me. And what I like about how they design this is 
Even at max volume, the sound doesn't fall apart. Something to note, there is no active noise cancellation on these earbuds like a lot of the competition, but the passive noise cancellation on these is fantastic. It's important that you try all of the ear tips that are included in the box. I think there's three pairs. If you don't have a good tight seal in your ear canal, they're not gonna sound good, uh, and you're also not gonna get the isolation that you want. So I'm a little dude with really big ears, if you can't tell, so finding a good fit for earbuds has been kind of a challenge for me. All right, shake test commencing. Ugh. Yeah, they stay in there pretty good. So the Jaybird Vistas actually fit my ears perfectly. I couldn't ask for a better fit on these. I like the little ear hook on the top, it really, engages with the top of my ear and on any run or any workout they have not fallen out and they never feel like they're going to come loose or anything. Some of my other headphones they don't fall out but they feel like they're starting to get loose and I find myself trying to adjust them on the go. The Jaybird Vistas they lock in there and they stay put. It's really good. Again your mileage may vary we all have different ears but this is just my take on them. So the final topic is call quality. I found the call quality on the Jaybird Vistas to be pretty good. I've taken plenty of phone calls on the run and people honestly haven't noticed they're talking to me through earbuds. This is a call quality test of the Jaybird Vista True Wireless Earbud. <laughs> right now, I'm in a pretty noisy environment with my kids all around me. <laughs> so can you hear them? Can you hear the TV? Let's find out, how do I sound? So, are the Jaybird Vistas worth the $180 price tag? Well, I think they are. I mean, for me they are. I don't know if they are for you, but for me they are. These have become my go-to running earbud. I really appreciate everything about them, that waterproofing and the durability. It gives me peace of mind. I don't really have to worry about them falling out of my ear or me stepping on them by accident. I like that. They sound fantastic, they look good, I can wear them on the run, I can wear them at work. I've only got a few complaints. First, I want the case to be a little bit more durable and water resistant. Second, I really like having a transparency mode or a hear through mode in the earbuds so I can hear the cars beeping at me and stuff. Third, I wish they did have that wireless charging. That's a really nice feature for me. I've got wireless charges at work, at home, on my phone. Um, if they had that capability, I, I could leave the cables at home and that's kind of nice. But all in all, these are my go-to running earbuds for now. They have taken the crown from the Jabra Elite 75 Ts and all the other ones I have here. They are really good. That's all I got for today. Thanks for watching. Again, I've got a limited supply of these hats in stock. Check out the link in the description for that. Definitely subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you thought this was a helpful video. And I'll see you in the next one.